everyone, my name is Allison. I'm currently living in China and I've decided it's about time to start filming some of the adventures that I've been going on here. So that means I'm in the market for a new camera. This is going to be a comparison video between the iPhone 12, the DJI Pocket 2, and the Sony ZV-1. I did a lot of research into different options when I was looking into this and thought that these were the three most realistic options for me and what I'm looking for. I want to do some vlogging style videos of just chatting back and forth and I also want to make sure I have a camera that's versatile enough to take out with me when I'm going on trips and sightseeing around the beauty of China. I did a few different tests with all of these cameras looking for image quality which is the main point I'm focusing on as well as audio, the coloring, just kind of seeing how it fits and feels and if it's going to be comfortable for me to use on a daily basis. I am filming on my iPhone 12 right now in 4K to give you an idea of what this video quality is right here as well as the audio. I got my Sony ZV-1 in the mail today and I also got my DJI Pocket 2 in the mail the other day. So let's go ahead and get started with comparing. So here is the DJI Pocket 2 on the right and the iPhone 12 on the left. I can see from first glance that the video quality on the right is better. The image is a lot more clear and it has a sharper quality to it. I will say though that I feel like the coloring is a bit off. It's making me look pretty washed out. I tried to play around with this and ended up getting a very yellow picture. So there may be some other things I can do in the settings, but from first glance, it's not my absolute favorite, especially because this is what the Sony ZV-1 looks like. I think that it is leaps and bounds beyond what we saw in the previous clip. It's very bright and it captures the color really well. Here's a comparison on the left hand side of the DJI Pocket 2 and you can see that it is such a step up on the right in my opinion. So I don't think there's any contest here. The Sony ZV-1 is the clear winner in this test. Here is the Sony ZV-1 on the left and the DJI Pocket 2 on the right. Again, I think I like the video quality better on the left. It really captures the colors nicely and has that sharp image. But when I look at the stabilization, the DJI Pocket 2 is definitely a winner in that category. You can see the shakiness on the left-hand side with the Sony ZV-1, so that may be a deciding factor in the camera I choose to keep. Just doing a test, trying to check the sound quality and the image quality, so hopefully you can see a big difference. Uh, here I am on the audio of the iPhone 12, and now I'm switching over to the audio of the DJI Pocket 2. I'm in Shanghai Disney right now, so it's beautiful regardless of whatever camera I'm filming on. So here's another test for audio. It's actually pretty rainy today, so I'm holding my umbrella way up over and just hoping that my camera doesn't get wet. It's really rainy today. You probably can tell because my hair is getting really frizzy, but that's just what it does. It holds a curl for a second, and the second I step outside, it's just crazy. So now that I've completed all the tests, here's a little recap. For video quality in a vlog setting, the Sony ZV-1 was a clear winner to me, hands down. And for video quality in an action setting, it was kind of a toss up for me between the Sony ZV-1 and the DJI Pocket 2. I liked the video quality of the Sony camera a lot more, but the Pocket 2 stabilization was incredible and a big step up, especially when I'm going out to try to grab those action shots. And the winner for audio quality is the DJI Pocket 2. I did think it sounded the best, but it really wasn't that far off from the Sony ZV-1. So taking all of that into consideration, here is the camera I decided to keep. Here I am filming again on the Sony ZV-1. This is the camera I've decided to keep. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a wonderful fit for me. The video quality is excellent. It's a huge step up from my iPhone 12. And I also think it's probably my favorite for the balance between being a vlogging style camera and being able to be an action camera at the same time to go out and grab those shots of when I'm adventuring around China. I really did think the DJI Pocket 2 was an excellent camera for many different reasons. I may even consider rebuying it again in the future. <laughs>
hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you. If you did like it, please go ahead and press the like button and write down in the comments below if you have any tips or advice for me. I'd love to hear what you think and if you have any extra attachments that you've bought that have been helpful for you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks!